Before we get into the meat and potatoes, I just quickly want to show you guys one of the hoops I had to jump through to get to the lumber yard. And yeah, sure, I could have went around it and just proceeded to the lumber yard, but it was on the to-do list anyways, so I figured why not just get it done now and the excavator my older brother so kindly let me use only has one working track anyways, so you must take full advantage of every location that it is passing by. Our driveway comes up from the road and makes a loop and heads back down to the road. In the center of that loop, there was a flower garden. Pretty, yes, but efficient, it was not. You see, every winter, especially when there was heavy snowstorms, the snow would accumulate in the center area, due to the fact that there was nowhere else to blow the snow. And as you can see, the garage is way too close to this area, making it progressively harder to get vehicles in and out during the winter. Also, parking was a nightmare year-round, so I said, let's just make it a parking lot, so it's not congested ever again. And make it a parking lot I did. Apologies for the poor quality clips. This footage was taken with my old phone. Phase 1. Heading over to the area that is to be our lumber yard, I first must clean up the mess that was made from clearing the land. Log lengths must be moved out of the way, scrap slab wood from our old slab wood pile must be disposed of, and any other debris that is laying about must be relocated before stump pulling and land grading can commence. I will now proceed to work my way into the area, pulling stumps and grading land as I go. And then I come across the monster of all stumps, or at least the biggest one I've ever pulled. Seriously, I could only wrap my arms a little over halfway around the stump. It was from a clump of decent sized maples, but at the base, it was all connected. It took me like 20 minutes just to get it loose. But once I got it out, it was smooth sailing from there. Massive effing stump. apologize for the lack of footage in certain sections of this video. This lumberyard project was started last year when I first got my new phone, so I was still learning the best possible settings for recording, and also when and when not to record. And sometimes I just get busy and I forget to record because the work is the most important thing. But I'm also learning to take my time to try to get better shots for you guys. It's a learning process and I really do thank all of you who stick with me through the process. You are the best and I absolutely appreciate you. Phase two. Now it's time to call up the dump truck driver, get some loads in and spread them out. As you can see by the black smoke, we began experiencing some issues with the excavator that were eventually ironed out. I must now disassemble our old mill deck, a platform made to elevate the logs so that they are closer to the elevation that of the mill bed. It was functional, but I didn't like the way it looked or the way it was built. It was just time for a change. Also, at some point the structure over the mill is going to be redone as well. With some sort of log hoist system incorporated into the structure, let me know if y'all want to see that whole process. Also, check out the new LEDs my brother installed. No more being limited to milling only during the day. A real game changer. Thank you, brother Cory. Phase number three. The old mill deck is gone with the wind and now I need to get some serious milling done. I've already done up a material list for the new deck and there's tons of logs laying about. Time to turn them into something beautiful and usable. Basically at this point I just have a lot of hauling and milling to do so I'll shut up for this phase and let you enjoy the visuals.
in the fourth and final stage. Cheesy music, eh? Believe me, I know. But every time I start doing groundwork and building something, I get a blast of nostalgia reminding me of years past when my niece and I used to play Minecraft together. And every time I build something in real life, my niece always pumps me up and tells me I'm doing real life Minecraft. And this music reminds me of that. I suppose that's why I chose this ambiance. So contrary to my previous motion pictures, I'm trying something new and not commentating on everything. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear me talk more or less, or a combination of both perhaps. It would really help me out to get some feedback on the matter. I will quickly state though that you'll see me using a tiger torch to burn different surfaces of the wood. And for those of you who don't know, this process is called charring the wood, an ancient technique to preserve wood, prevent rot, and believe it or not, it actually makes the wood fire resistant. Resistant. And besides all that, I find it just gives the wood a really nice look. If you made it this far, I sincerely thank you for not clicking away. 
This project turned out better than I could have ever imagined. It really is a real dream coming true. This new lumberyard and mill deck are seriously going to up my game. I just want you guys to know I'm trying to make my content more exciting and click worthy without making it clickbait. I really enjoy sharing my life with you guys and I can only hope that you enjoy it too. If you like the woodworking aspects in this video, might I suggest checking out this video, one of my first real displays of woodworking on camera. Go check out that video right over here. Again, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one.